Wow, the next June Training Academy is bigger than I expected. Gabe, you're here too! Hey, Amal! I guess we were both invited to the Next Gen Training Academy. Yeah, I'm so excited to go through the courses and learn from outstanding Bible characters. Me too! Last week, we looked into the life of Daniel and learned about steadfastness. Ooh, yeah, I wonder whose life we'll look into next. Now all we need is our kit! <gasps> right here! And don't forget our training manual, the Bible! Bring out your Bibles too, truth seekers, or should I say, outstanders. Let's get ready to go into training and become. Outstanding! It's me once again, your truth seeker, Ate Gabe. And I'm your fellow truth seeker, Kuya Mawal. Let's learn how to faithfully serve others. Right here in Next, Next Gen, Gen Live! Next Gen! Next Gen! Alright, what are we gonna do? That's a good question, Koya Mawa. I think it says here in the journal to complete the second NTA course of the training program accomplish all tasks, and earn three shiny gold stars. Ooh, alright. So task one is to read the Bible story and answer the questions. Task number two, complete the course exercise. And task number three, identify, identify the godly trait from, from the young Bible, Bible character. character. Alright, let's start with task one. Bring out your Bibles, everybody. According to our journal, we'll be learning about young Timothy and how he was an outstanding example to other believers even in his youth. Let's open our Bibles to 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 5-7. to seven. Timothy was one of the closest people to the Apostle Paul. Paul called him son in the faith. He wrote two letters to Timothy. Now let's look at how Paul got to know Timothy in the first place. Paul wrote... I remember your true faith, the kind of faith that belonged to your grandmother Lois and to your mother Eunice. And I know that you have the same faith. That is why I remind you to use the gift God gave you. God gave you that gift when I laid my hands on you. Now let it grow as a small flame grows like a fire. Paul saw that the faith Timothy had the same faith that his grandmother and his mother had. And that faith is them believing in Jesus Christ. Now, Paul is encouraging Timothy to grow in the faith, staying true to the Lord by doing his best and using his gifts. God did not give us a spirit that makes us afraid. He gave us a spirit of power and love and self-control. Don't let anyone look down on you because you are young but set an example for the believers in speech, in conduct, in love, in faith, and in purity. Timothy was one of the young leaders of the early church, written in 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 12. You know, he probably faced a lot of challenges and problems being one of the leaders of the early church. That's why Paul encouraged him to be strong in the faith, no matter what happens. He even said that God doesn't give the spirit of fear, but of love and self-control. Yes, Paul also said that Timothy should set an example for the believers in speech, in conduct, in love, in faith, in purity, even though he was young. Here's a question in our journal. How was Timothy outstanding for the Lord? How did he set a good example? Timothy surely was outstanding. Even though he was young and faced a lot of challenges, he was strong in the faith. I agree with that. Timothy also used his gifts to build up the church and set an example for other believers. If we want to be outstanders for the Lord, we have to stay true to God as much as we can and follow in His will for us. Just like how Timothy faithfully followed the Lord. Look, it's the first gold star! Task 1 must be done! Congrats! Let's remember what we just discussed. Might be useful for later. 
Agree. Now, task two is to complete our course exercise. Let's do this. Outstanders, let's go. This is so exciting. You know, this training ground reminds me of playing soccer. Yep. And look, it's our course exercise, building a tower out of boxes. Interesting. You know, I hope the wind won't knock it over though. Well, we should remember what we just read. God did not give us a spirit of fear, so let's face the challenge. Good point, Gabe. We must trust that God will help us with this. Let's do this for him. Come on. Ooh. That was challenging, but praise God we did it! All that's left is task number three. Identify, Identify the, the godly, godly trait from, from the young Bible, Bible character. character. There are so many godly traits that could describe Timothy though. The real question is, which one? Look, it's Mr. Owl! Greetings, young outstanders. I am thrilled to see you both in the Next Gen Training Academy. Do you need any assistance? Yes, we do, Mr. Owl. We need to find a godly trait that young Timothy showed. We need a word that describes staying true to God, though whatever happens in every single day. Alright children, I'm going to be giving you a few choices and it's up to you to match the godly trait from what you have just learned today. So all we have to do is choose the best one. Help us truth seekers. Based on what you've just learned, what godly trait did young Timothy have? Is it merciful? Showing forgiveness to people who have hurt you? Is it? Gentle, being kind and showing grace to others, or is it faithful, following God, whatever comes your way? Hey, truth seekers, what word did you guys pick? I think we have the same answer. <clears throat> I think this is it. Are you sure with your answers, young outstanders? Yes, yes Mr. Al. Shout your answers, everyone, in three, two, one. Faithful! Indeed, the godly trait is faithful. Excellent work. You have successfully finished the third task. Yay! Woo! Thank you, Mr. Al, and thank you, too, outstanders. You're welcome, dear ones. I must bid farewell for now. Lots of academy duties to catch up on. Until next Bye. time. Bye. Ta -ta. Great. We finished our journal. We got the last star. And you identified Timothy's godly trait. Being faithful. When we live for God, we do our best to follow Him no matter what. Whether we're in a high point in our lives or going through some tough times, we still follow God and His will for us. For example, I can practice being faithful by reading the Bible and praying every day even if I'm busy or had a rough day. It may not be easy to read the Bible and pray daily, especially when you don't feel like it. But being faithful does not depend on our feelings. We are being faithful to God because we want to follow Him and not ourselves. That's a great example, Gabe. Another way we can apply the faithfulness is through serving others with our God-given talents, just like Timothy. I can be faithful to God by obeying His commands no matter what happens. One such way is through serving others and showing God's love. I can do the chores for my parents or my siblings if they feel tired or encourage my friends when they're feeling down. Even if I don't feel like doing it or feel hurt by my loved ones, I will continue to serve them because that's what God would have wanted me to do. That's good insight, Kuyamawa. Timothy was also faithful by following God's command to love God and others through serving them and being an example to them. So outstanders in training, we hope that you will continue to do your best for God. Let's be faithful, like Timothy! 
today, we look into the outstanding godly trait of faithfulness. We learn that we can be faithful by serving God and others through our God-given talents. And that's our big idea for today. Be faithful, faithful with, with your God-given God talents. Using our God-given talents to serve others is another way to set an example to other believers, even as a child. That's our memory verse for today. Let's say it together with actions. First Timothy chapter 4, verse 12. Don't let anyone look down on you because you are young, but set an example for the believers in speech, in conduct, in love, in faith, and in purity. First Timothy chapter 4, verse 12. It's not easy to be faithful. Actually, none of us can be truly faithful. Following God every single day without failing, that's impossible. Because of our sinful nature, we do things that the Lord doesn't like, and that separates us from God. But while we were still sinners, Jesus Christ died for us. Jesus saved us from our sins by dying on the cross and rising up from the grave to prove that He is Lord. All we must do is believe that Jesus will save us from the punishment of our sins. And through that, the love of God will overflow in us, empowering us to love God and love others. Would you like to accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior? If yes, pray this prayer with me. Dear Jesus, I know I'm a sinner, and I'm sorry for doing things that are not pleasing to you. I believe that you saved me from the punishment of my sins, and you are the Lord and Savior of my life. Thank you for everything. Draw me closer to you, Lord, as I want to grow in my relationship with you and my love for you. Use me to do your will. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. If you prayed that prayer for the first time with your heart, then hooray! We celebrate with you. Welcome, Welcome to, to God's, God's family! family. you learned a lot. Share your learnings in the Padlet page link down below or scan the QR code you see on the screen. We'd love to hear from you! Hmm, I wonder who's gonna be enrolling in the training program next? To find out, stay tuned for the next episode in Next, next Gen, Gen Live! Bye! Bye. Hey Next Gen families, how about spending time sharing with each other your answers to our discussion questions? Because a family that shares with each other stays together and grows in the Lord together. Let's use these questions to help us discuss what you learned in today's lesson. Have, Have a great, great time, time discussing. discussing! Want to be part of a Next Gen small group via Zoom? If you are 7 to 12 years old, you can be part of an online squad or small group by registering on the link in the description or scanning this QR code. Hope to see you there! <laughs>